Turn off the lights in unused rooms. It is the equivalent of throwing away money. Yo, what you doing? I'm just doing some work. I can see that. Dude, there's natural lighting. It's the natural light. So? Why are you using electric lights if there's natural light? Why would I use the natural light? Well, it gives you up to 30% more concentration and saves you up to 29% of your electric bill. Really? Let's give it a try. Yeah, you could just open them, man. It's, okay. It's just like, dude. That's still a little dark, though. How am I supposed to work in these conditions? The shades aren't open. Oh, that's right. Okay. So let's, let's open, open the shades. shades. Increase your concentration. Maybe some brakes on. <laughs> uh, and there, voila! Saving the electric bill, buddy! More investing! Wow! I'll keep that in mind, that sounds good. I'll try to utilize, utilize this daylight more often. Yeah, just, Thank you. just make sure you don't stand directly in the way and you might have to start wearing some suntan lotion. Oh, I appreciate that. So, right now we're going to talk about the benefits of natural lighting. Now, some of the things we haven't really thought about are, for example, you have longer light bulb life. Your light bulbs are used less, so they last longer. The research also shows that sales and productivity increase, so your, your workers are more, fo more focused, they're able to produce better, um, and sales uh, cre creates a better environment to improve sale records. Uh, <clears throat> also, the natural sunlight helps to create uh, healthier work environments. Uh, also, through research done by the University of California, the surveys and test results show that most people prefer to be in roofed areas, yet would uh, yet have a demand and would prefer to be under natural lighting as well. <coughs> so you can definitely count on people liking the new, uh, liking the the natural lighting um, for one hundred percent. Cut that sucker. That's it. Just forget that. Good afternoon. My name is Eric. I'll be giving you a cost comparison between LEDs, CFLs, and incandescent light bulbs. So here we go. Now, on this chart I have the whole column of LED, CFL, and incandescence. Let's start with the lifespan. The lifespan here for an LED, we got it at 50,000 hours. That's a lot of hours. The CFL, 10,000 hours. Five times less than the LED, but that's still good whopping hours. The incandescent light bulb, unfortunately, we have it at around 1,200 hours. Now let's go to the watts. An LED gives us about, uses about 6 watts. The CFL will use 14 watts. And the incandescent uses a whopping 60 watts, 10 times more than the LED. Um, the kilowatt hours, uh, based on the 50,000 hours, which is the highest number for the LED, we find that for the, 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 the LED uses 300 kilowatt hours in its 50,000 hours. The CFL uses 700, hour, uses 700 kilowatt hours in accordance to the 50,000 hours. The incandescent light bulb uses a whopping 3,000 kilowatt hours. That's, a, that's 10 times, that's about, no I'm sorry, that's about 10 times more than the, than the LED, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> The cost per bulb. Now, this is where and this is when it all gets to capital cost. Um, it's three thirty. It's approximately thirty-five ninety-five, close to thirty-six dollars for an LED. The CFL is about almost like ten times cheaper, a little bit more or less, uh, around three ninety-five, and the incandescent is cheaper than all of them up front at dollar twenty-five. Now, when we look at the electricity cost. <coughs> We have it calculated at a, at twenty cents the kilowatt hour. So we're going to take this twenty cents and times this kilowatt hour to get you the result. And what we find is when we do 0 0.20 times the three hundred gives us sixty dollars for the LED. Not that bad. We get the 0 0.20 times the seven hundred. We get it at one hundred and forty dollars. That's about a little bit more than double the LED. And then at 0 0.20 times the three thousand. We get out of six hundred dollars, um, so that's pretty high. Um, the number of bulbs that you would use for fifty thousand hours, as we saw up here, would be one LED, uh, five CFLs with the you know five times the ten thousand. But the incandescent was incredibly at forty-two light bulbs 
to get us the fifty thousand dollars. Now, when we look at the expense up front for these fifty thousand hours, we find that thirty five ninety five is just one bulb, so you get fifty thousand dollars. We now have that the uh, for the CFL, on the other hand, we get the five times the seven hundred gives us a nineteen seventy five. So the upfront cost, so the cost is a little less uh, when buying the bulb. Um, now the incandescent, surprisingly, being the cheapest up front, actually gave us a fifty two fifty for for the um, for the fifty thousand uh, dollars uh, per bulb. So you paid long, you pay more up front for your fifty thousand dollars with power. Now the total cost adding um, adding this. We've come to the conclusion that the the thirty five ninety five plus the uh, plus the sixty gives for the hour to, for the expense of the bulb and the cost of electricity. We find that ninety five ninety five is the approximate for an LED. Uh, for the CFL, surprisingly, uh, we didn't. It got up to about one sixty. That's close to a little bit more than half. Um, but the incandescent, surprisingly gave us up to uh, 652. That is about six times more than the LED. So you, when doing these calculations, you definitely see that the LED is your best long-term option to go. Now, if you want to pause here and look at the graph uh, specifically, you could also see um, on this graph that we show you the LED, the CFL, and the condition, um, in comparison to the graph. And, uh, this is actually kind of funny when you look at the kilowatt hours of electricity and you see the incandescent all the way up there. So it's, this is if if, you, if they don't see if they don't see it in in the numbers they will definitely see it on the graph, and uh, this concludes our comparison between the three bulbs. Uh, I hope this helps you make a wiser decision for your for your lighting at home. Thank you very much. Just throwing them out. Money doesn't grow on trees. Yes, it does. It's paper. Stop being smart. FYI, every ton of recycled paper saves about 17 trees. Really? Yes, it does. North America accounts for about one third of worldwide annual consumption. Keep that in mind. I'll recycle that next time. Thank you. This section is about recycling. Recycling one ton of paper saves 7,000 gallons of water. 380 gallons of oil, and three cubic yards of landfill space. Recycling one glass bottle saves enough energy to light a 100-watt bulb for four hours. Recycling one ton of newspapers saves 15 trees. Reuse old product binders for other papers. Computer discs and file folders can be used over and over. Empty tissue boxes can hold pens, pencils, etc.